Welcome guys to another Ask Zendler. Hi guys, in this lecture what we're going to look at is surveys. Now surveys run in a similar way to quizzes, they can be incorporated into your curriculum. So we can set them up the same way that we set up quizzes and we'll just run through and surveys are really good because it gives you a real good idea of what your students um, like, what they don't like, um, what level they are all these sort of things you can ask whatever you like in a survey so it's quite good it records the data and you find out a little bit more about your student and you can then target those students for certain things so let's go into a little course i made up that just contains the first survey that i did and also will now contain the survey the quiz sorry and the first survey so let's go into this section here and let's add a new lesson and I'm going to call it um, take the survey now you can put this wherever you like you could create it on it as its own course you could also put it into another course it doesn't matter uh, the principles are the same here okay so um, here we go so we got this little button here called survey so I'm going to click survey and we're going to title this survey so um, let's call it tell us a little more about you question mark and oh not question mark and we'll click add okay so now it's going to run into the quiz and survey block here where we can actually ask ask questions and set it up now it's very similar to the um, quiz settings and so inside here we'll start to work with actually creating our survey and putting it together so we're going to do that in the next lecture hi guys let's start designing our survey so we're in the uh, survey now so we're going to go and start to add some information so the first thing i want to do is just maybe drop some free text in here to just tell people um, a little bit about well they can tell us a little bit about themselves uh, in this section so we can um, we can ask them stuff in here so you can say um, tell us your experience so far with surfing question mark so um, answer settings I could put a description in here and this will appear underneath this so um, answer settings down here are we going to make it required maximum characters we can set an amount you can see I can slide this up or down so I'm going to say about um, probably that's enough 300 characters and is it required no it's not required um, so I'm just going to click save to that so that's our first question now we can go into preview mo mode here and you can see so it tells you and you can write your answer you'll see it's a free uh, free text box there so also if I just put a description in here just to show you um, just a general bit of info for us to tailor your journey stroke experience all very positive words so we'll save that and again you can preview this and so now you're going to see it just gives a little bit of information underneath there okay so let's uh, talk to them about true or false questions um, because that will give us um, quite a good reading here so question um, would you consider traveling more than one ooh, let's call, let's say 500 miles to surf see this sort of question tells me whether those people are committed or they're just casual surfers so um, answers to that well there's a true and a false answer so I can put in here 
I can just put in here yes or no okay so is it required yes this one is required and we'll save this so let's go to preview mode and look at this yes I would no I wouldn't you would consider traveling more than that many miles okay and also I can change the order of this by the way by clicking that so now I'm going to get into the uh, choices boxes so I'm going to put a choice in here this multiple choice so um, we're going to put this in here uh, so let's just put what level surfer are you so answer one um, let's put something in there um, don't know let's add a new option um, beginner oh let's put never surfed so there is a level between beginner and never surfed beginner level and let's add a new option intermediate Oop. and another option an advanced this is good because you can hit these people if they're if they're advanced level to actually help you out and maybe join you is it required yes it is required it's a single response and we're going to click save to that so there we go we've got a few questions now uh, we've also got ratings in here so you could put a rating thing in there we've also got a scale never used scale before we've got media so we could put a media question in there um, something like uh, let me just put something in there so you can have something like there um, is this what you look like surfing and then you can have a funny thing you know you could have a, a daffy duck in there you could have like a really cool kelly slater surfing and they could just click whichever one they want in there so you could upload an image you just click in here to upload an image just add and you just add it straight in so this could be a fun way to engage your your people in there you know make sure it's required if you want to if you don't want this in here you can delete it out which is what i'm going to do but media can be quite a good way to give a little bit of a fun factor to it so let's go to scale now i've never used scale so i don't know what this is all right so here we go so this is quite a good one um, your fitness level out of five and then five being fit something like that so that's quite good you can use scales for something like that um, that could work quite well so underneath here I think we can go and enable description we've got answers so we have only got out of five there so we can't add any more oh yep you can down here you can add more steps that's quite good so ten but I'd probably put it on five that's good and I save those changes so again you're getting data from them and nextly let's do a rating here so I'm going to put a rating card in here so rate this course now this is obviously at if they're at the end of the course then you might put this I'm just putting it in here to show you make it required if you want to you can put more stars by dragging this up and down five stars is generally the way to go here and then you can just click save for that so now we have got lots of questions there that's going to give us lots of answers now of course you could put what age are you all this sort of stuff and you can build up a big survey of what um, your actual students are all about so that is how we set up the base of it so you can go in here and preview things you can click back here to go th back through the lessons to have a look to see how it looks you can also go and preview it actually in screen so you can click it here and you can actually have a look at it in screen and see what's uh, going on which is quite good you can also close this back down again okay guys so we've created our survey we've put all our questions in now we want to just make it look good so to make our survey look good and less boring as we have it here um, you might like this but I personally don't 
you can go to survey settings and we can change quite a few things. I'm going to run through these pretty similar to the quiz. You've got survey title which you can still change in there. You can also enable um, the forward and backwards buttons which is always a good idea. You can also auto slide on each answer so when you click an answer it will actually slide back to the other which is quite cool. You can enable it for touch and mobile so they can swipe. Uh, you can enable a retake and you can enable a review. I'm not going to on this. You can randomize the questions and you can enable a welcome, welcome and a thank you. I'm actually going to turn that off. Okay. So guys, if you've done the um, the quiz course, you'll see the welcome and thank you. You can turn it on and just check it if you like it or not. Um, by turning it off and on. So next we've got a progress bar. Now you might want a progress bar on the quiz along the top. I'm going to turn it off for this one. So uh, messages, we have resume your survey now, completed successfully. So you can change that text if you want to. And inside here, we can, instead of having A, we can have uh, numbers. And then for the answers, you can have either numbers or letters. I prefer numbers and then letters for the answers. All of the little areas that you change here can be changed, such as the continue button. You could put something else in here if you wanted to, instead of continue. So you can change that for your, your language that you're using. That goes the same for quizzes. And lastly, it takes us on to the style. And this is where we actually change the look and feel of it. So if you come in here, you can see there's a little um, blue bar that goes around. And this allows you to pick certain elements out, such as this border on the uh, right hand side. So you can change the color of this border if you wanted to. And you could, again, make the border um, bigger or smaller. You could also add a right border, um, a top border and a bottom border. Or, of course, you could turn the border off completely. You can also have dashed or dotted. I'm going to turn it off completely by hitting there, and I'm going to hit Save. So I've saved that now. So I'm going to go into the next part, which is this border around here, and I'm also going to set this on None. Um, I don't like the border to be around there, so I'm just going to set a color. And you can set these on None, if you like. And it will basically deactivate that border around the outside, because I don't like it. And we're going to go on to this bit here where I'm going to change it to my kind of orangey color, which I really like uh, there. And that's nice. And I can actually change the um, background color of the whole thing. So if I go in there, you can see I can change this background color, which might be nice. Um, I think I'll change the background color in that piece. So I'll just go to a lighter one just so it stands out. And that looks a lot cooler. And inside there, I think I'll do things like change the size of this, make it a bit bigger. And I'll go for the background color, I'll go for my orange, and I'll change this text color to a white here. And that looks lovely. So you can go in and change all of these different elements. Make sure that you do apply the change. And then we're going to just close this down. And I'm going to just check this in preview. That looks nice. And I'm going to go and preview my survey. So once I'm in the survey, I can start the survey, hit start, and you start to go through it all. So I'm going to put a load of um, rubbishy text down and just move through. Would you consider traveling more? Yes, I would. Um, what surfer level are you? Say intermediate. And is your fitness level probably about four? Depends what time of year. Rate this course. Oh, it's a five star course and click finish. And then you can submit the survey there. So I can close that preview off. So it's all working fine. You now need to test it as a student. Same as what we did, what we do for everything in the course. And everything that you create, everything you create on Zenly, you should always be testing it as a student. Okay, guys, so let's move on and test this survey works as we expect it to. Back Right, we're going to log in as a student now and we're going to check our survey and check our reports inside our admin. So I'm, log I'm logging in as a student now, um, two seconds whilst I log in, and I've got to find a tractor, verify that, should be good, okay, so I'm going to go into my membership, add the quiz and surveys, and we've got the survey down here, I'm going to start that and we should get the results so here we go so starting the survey now so start your survey now let's start 
So tell us about your experience surfing. Um, I have been surfing for five to six years and have mastered up to intermediate level. So just something like that. That's good enough. Continue. Um, would you consider traveling more than 500 miles? I'm going to click yes. Um, what level of surfer are you? I've already said about intermediate advanced. Uh, what's your fitness level? About four. Just continue. Rate this course. Let's give it five stars and finish. So let's now submit the survey. Completed successfully. So then we'd move on to the next lesson. Congratulations, you finished the survey. Back to the curriculum. Okay, so now we've done that. We filled it in and we completed it. I can now check inside our admin section. So I'm going to go into site. I'm going to come down to reports down here. And we're going to go inside reports. We're going to go quizzes and surveys. And inside there, I'm going to select the date for today which is today and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to quiz and survey because that's the one we just did I think yep and yeah, I'm going to run the report okay so look we can see that we've got tell more about yourself survey one attendees past not applicable I'm going to click in here and what it's going to do it's going to give us what we've done so it's telling us our overall report it's telling us here what's going on and no yes don't know 100% you can see that I clicked intermediate you can see that I clicked yes and 100% level 4 100% 5 so it's given us our readings obviously if there was more people in there then it would give us more um, results so I can go attendee details here gives us the attendee details that's me I've got one attendee I'm in there and we've got the details and I've completed it so that is how you can run and add a survey into your course curriculum on Zenla